Hi guys and welcome back to my channel At Home With Shell. So in today's video I'll be sharing with you five healthy yet comforting dinners that you can make this autumn. If you are new to my channel then hi my name is Michelle and I upload videos every single week so would love for you to subscribe if you like this kind of content. I also upload all of my meal plans and meals every single night over on my Instagram so I'll link my Instagram name down below if you want to follow me over there. So as some of you may know that I'm trying to eat healthily at the moment and also following Slimming World. But all of the five meals are low in calorie and low in sins and for each meal I will list the sin value where applicable and the calories as well. Um, all of the ingredients for each of the dinners I will list in the description box down below including all the quantities. If you want to make them then you'll just have the list of all the ingredients that you make down there too. So I really hope that you do enjoy this video and if you do then make sure to give it a like and if you do make any of these recipes then please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below the first dish that I'll be sharing with you is chicken orzo now this dish is super easy to make and even better that it's made in one pot too because it says on the washing up this dish comes in at only 392 calories and is completely sin free on Slimming World. The first thing you want to do is slice the two chicken breasts in half, season with salt and pepper and sprinkle over some peri peri seasoning. Transfer that to a frying pan spice, um, spice side down and sprinkle over some more peri peri seasoning. Fry for around two minutes on each side and then add a handful of halved cherry tomatoes and a red and yellow diced pepper. Fry that for a couple of minutes, then you want to add 200 grams of orzo along with 500 ml of chicken stock, which I've just made with a chicken stock pot. Next you want to add a carton of passata and a little bit more peri peri seasoning if you do like a little kick, if not you can obviously leave that out. Give it a really good stir, cover and simmer over a low heat for 15 minutes until all of the water has absorbed. Sprinkle over a little fresh parsley and serve. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within, I can tell that the next dish is tomato feta pasta. Now you may have heard of this dish before. I think it became a bit of a TikTok trend and it was all over social media. Super easy to make. It does take a little bit longer, um, but honestly it is so easy. It couldn't literally be easier to make. And when the feta melts and with the pasta, you literally have this delicious cheesy sauce. This dish is 542 calories and is completely sin free if you are using the feta as one of your healthy extra A's. In an oven proof dish add one diced onion, a couple of packs of cherry tomatoes around 700 grams in total, three crushed garlic cloves and then sprinkle with mixed herbs all over and then add a block of feta cheese to the middle. Then you want to put that in the oven for around 30 minutes. After around 20 minutes, you then want to place your pasta on to cook and then once the pasta is cooked, remove the tomatoes from the oven, tip in the drained pasta, sprinkle over some fresh basil and stir and the tomato and feta makes the creamiest sauce. This dish is absolutely delicious and super easy. Diamond in the rough 
The next dish I'm sharing with you is one of my favourite fakeaways and it's a Chinese chicken curry which is super easy to make. Um, made even easier because I just use a pre-bought spice mix. So for this I use the spice mix from Spice and Tice. I've mentioned Spice and Tice on my channel before. I think they're absolutely brilliant um, because it's literally just a pre-made spice pack in a sachet so super easy to use. And I have also got 20% off for anyone that wants to buy anything from Spice and Tice. So all you need to do is click on the link in the description box down below and then put the code in SHELL20 at the checkout and you will receive 20% off your order. So without the rice, the curry itself comes in at only 377 calories and again is completely sin free, which is just fantastic for a fake away style curry and much lower in calories than a takeaway and obviously much cheaper too. You want to start by frying the chicken breast so all I've done here is basically cut up four chicken breasts and fry these for around five minutes. Then you want to add two sliced onions, a firm sized piece of ginger which again has been finely diced and two crushed garlic cloves. Fry that on a medium heat for another five minutes. Meanwhile, prepare the curry sauce by mixing one chicken stock cube with 400 ml of water. Add two tablespoons of flour to the stock and mix really well to get rid of any lumps. Then you want to add the sachet of spice mix. After around five minutes, the onions should have softened slightly, so pour over the curry sauce and simmer for 10 to 15 minutes until the sauce thickens. Five minutes before the end, just add in the cup of peas and there you are, it will be ready to serve and I would simply just serve this with a portion of rice. Ordering a cup of love, feel it rising up and above, you will always keep my heart and soul strong. The next dish that I'll be sharing with you is a cauliflower cheese pie, which is a veggie dish too, and this is really, really yummy. I wasn't sure on it when I first went to make it, but then thought, do you know what, how can you go wrong with basically cauliflower cheese in a pie? It was absolutely delicious, felt really indulgent too, but was still fairly low in calories, so it was only 589 calories, and was only half a sin per serving if you use the cheese as your healthy extra A. This dish does take a little bit longer than some of the others um, so it might be ideal for maybe a Sunday, a good alternative to a roast and it's veggie too. Cut one broccoli and one cauliflower into florets and place on a baking tray. Spritz it with some fry light and bake in the oven at 200 degrees for 30 minutes. After around 15 minutes, half a couple of handfuls of tomatoes and place into a baking dish and put in the oven with the broccoli and cauliflower. Meanwhile, put the potatoes on to boil for 15 minutes and make the stock by adding two tablespoons of corn flour to a jug, crumble in one stock cube and pour over 800 ml of water and give it a really good stir trying to get rid of any lumps. After around 15 minutes when the potatoes have softened, then you want to drain them and mash them, stirring through two tablespoons of fat-free yogurt and season with salt and pepper. Then you want to remove the tomatoes from the oven and add the cauliflower and broccoli to the dish. Scatter over a handful of fresh parsley and add around 150 grams of reduced fat cheddar cheese, which you've grated then pour over the stock and give it a good stir. You then want to start to spoon over the mashed potato, roughing it up with a fork and scattering it over with any remaining cheese. You then want to bake that in the oven for another 20 minutes and then it will be ready to serve just with some seasonal veg on the side. The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul Strong. The final dish that I wanted to share with you is creamy pea and rocket gnocchi. 
I absolutely love Noki. You don't need to use a lot of it at all and it's really filling. So this dish, you can actually make it veggie if you want as well. You can just leave out of the bacon um, and then that will obviously reduce the calories very slightly in it. How I've made it, it comes in at 512 calories and one and a half sins per serving. Fry four bacon medallions for a few minutes until browned, then remove from the pan and cut into slices. Then you want to bring a large pan of salted water to the boil and add a pack of gnocchi and 200 grams of frozen peas. Meanwhile, fry two crushed garlic cloves and fry for around one minute in a frying pan. Then add half a teaspoon of dried sage and stir through a tub of ricotta grating over some nutmeg and seasoning with salt and pepper. After around three minutes, the gnocchi should be cooked. You can tell when it's cooked because it floats to the surface. Then you want to use a slotted spoon to basically transfer the gnocchi and the peas to the frying pan. Next, you want to add a bag of rocket, some lemon zest and the juice of one lemon. Give it a really good stir and then sprinkle over the bacon if you are using. You're the first thing in the I really hope that you enjoyed this video because I know I like watching videos like this and I'm always on the lookout for more meal inspiration. So if you did like it, then please hit the thumbs up button and hopefully I will see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.